derivative of e to the x is itself e to the x, so the antiderivative of e to the x would just be e to the x plus c. If I have a inner function, if I have e to some other function in terms of x, if I have the derivative of e to the u to take, its derivative would be e to the u times u prime, or du dx notation here. Of course, if I just reverse this process, Take the antiderivative of both sides, antiderivative of the derivative would cancel out. E to the u is the antiderivative of e to the u du, which you're seeing right here. We're just relating these back to the derivatives we did back in first semester. If you know the derivative, wouldn't you also know the antiderivative by just reversing the original process? So. In base E, the antiderivative of E to the U du would be E to the U plus C. It's its own derivative and therefore its own antiderivative. Does that make sense? Okay. Base E up on the board. On your formula sheet, if I go to the bottom, these are line items number four and five. Number five is in base E, number four is base N. Instead of e to the x, what if I have a different base? Like say three to the x, or five to the x, or 10 to the x. How do you take the derivative, the antiderivative of exponential functions not in base e? Well, let's relate this back to the derivatives we did in first semester. We've proven and shown that the derivative of a to the x is a to the x times the natural log of a. Well, if I take the antiderivative, should just cancel out. a to the x equals the antiderivative of a to the x times the natural log of a. I want to solve for the antiderivative of a to the x, so I'm just going to divide by the natural log of a or multiply by its reciprocal, one over the natural log of a. We get the plus c notes first, right? I'm going to take the antiderivative of what it's given by in derivative form, the antiderivative of the derivative of a to the x just cancels out to the a to the x because derivatives and antiderivatives come to each other. That leaves me on the right side, the antiderivative of a to the x times the natural log of a. I've written down here. I'm trying to get a formula for the antiderivative of a to the x, but I have the antiderivative of a to the x times the natural log of a. This is simply just a constant, so I can multiply that as reciprocal to cancel out. 1 over natural log of a times a to the x plus c is equivalent to the antiderivative of a to the x dx. Formula you're seeing right here. Notation on your formula sheet is if you have an inner function, a composite, base a to some differentiable function of x, some differentiable function u in terms of x. We use this notation. The derivative of a to the u is 1 over the natural log of a times a to the u times du dx. I take the antiderivative of that. First, the process, I write it this formula. The antiderivative of a to the u du is 1 over the natural log of a times a to the u. That should be the formula on your formula sheet. Line number four. Let's just try a set here. I'm going to bounce back and forth between base E, base A, definite integrals, indefinite integrals, antiderivatives, all that good stuff. Have some good set of practice here on using each of these different antiderivative formulas.
what is the indefinite integral or antiderivative of e to the 3x plus 1? What function would have a derivative of 3x plus 1, in other words? We have base E or base A. Obviously, base E, I wager this is also a composite function. What would the inner function be? So let's use a U substitution to evaluate. I'm trying to relate it back to this formula, where I know the antiderivative of e to the u du is itself, e to the u plus c. So I'm going to let u be 3x plus 1. Let's come up with the substitution for dx as well. If u is 3x plus 1, I can find du by taking the derivative of each side. Leaves me du equals 3dx. Solving for dx would be multiplying both sides by 1. A third of du equals dx. Putting this back in its u du form so I can better anti differentiate would give me e to the u du with an extra one third. dx got replaced by a third of du. e to the 3x plus 1 got replaced by e to the u. This is once again the easiest derivative and antiderivative. It's everyone's favorite. What's the antiderivative of e to the u? e to the u plus. C. So one third e to the u plus c. I've now got the answer in terms of u. Let's match the integration variable that we started with. So I'm going to put it back in terms of x. Final answer one third e to the 3x plus 1 plus c. How can you always check your work on antiderivatives? The derivative, and I should just get back to where I start, right? I'd like to do all the work I just did. To cover up the one third for a minute, the derivative of e to the 3x plus 1 would be e to the 3x plus 1 times another 3, because of the derivative of 3x plus 1 being 3 as well. If the derivative of e to the 3x plus 1 is e to the 3x plus 1 times 3, the extra one third out in front produces it back down to just e to the 3x plus 1. Try another one. Okay, another indefinite integral or antiderivative to find. What is the antiderivative of 5 to the negative x dx? Base e or base n? Is it some other base? So it's base a. Let's write down what base we're in. That might be helpful. base of this exponential function is 5. Let's let a be that base 5. We're going to try and use this formula from the notes on the board here and on your formula sheet. It proved at the beginning of class. The antiderivative of a to the u du is 1 over ln of a times a to the u plus c. But let's first figure out what u and du are. u would be, I think, both. Negative x, u x, about every single time. U is whatever that exponential part of your exponential function. If u is negative x, that means that du equals negative 1 dx, since the derivative of negative x is negative 1. Trying to solve for dx, we're going to change it. du is negative dx. What's dx equal to? Just solve for dx. So you change sir? One. Close. Du is the opposite of dx. So dx is negative. Du, I'm just going to slide the negative over here. Divide both sides by negative 1. All right. 
right, so let's write down what we have here in terms of AU and DU. Antidotive of A to the U. Negative DU, I'll put the negative out in front as a coefficient. And DU here. Now you have the formula to use from your notes. The antidotive of A to the U DU is 1 over the natural log of A. Bring down the negative, 1 over the natural log of I. Times A to the U. So that'd be 5 to the negative x. We'll see. A couple of basic antidotives in base E or base A. What are your thoughts here, guys? Anybody online or here IRL? Feel good. Looks Feeling good. good? Hunter's good? Dustin's good? Anybody else got anything for the good of the cause that needs a little bit more clarification? Okay. Let's try a couple of definite integrals then. Let's do some bounds now. We did some indefinite integrals. Let's try some definite integrals. I'm going to slide that here so everyone can see it. Perfect. What is the definite integral from 0 to 1 of e to the x divided by 1 plus e to the x? We can find the right use of I bet this will start to turn us off in the right direction. This is a rational function. I have a top and a bottom, the numerator, e to the x, in the denominator of this rational expression, 1 plus e to the x. So what should u be, be assigned to? What would u be equal to? Second check. All right. I mean, you got kind of a 50-50 shot, right? It's either going to be e to the x on top or 1 plus e to the x on bottom. If it doesn't work one way, just try it the other way, I suppose, yeah? So I think we're going to try your suggestion, u equals 1 plus e to the x. What is du then? What's the derivative of 1, the first term? What's the derivative of e to the x, the second term? So du is e to the x dx. 1 plus e to the x is going to be u. e to the x dx is just simply du e to the x dx is simply just du. What else do I have to adjust and put also in terms of u? The two bounds, the 0 and the 1. Let's just substitute those into the expression for u. Plug in 0 into 1 plus e to the x. Plug in 1 to the same thing. u of my lower bound, u of 0, is 1 plus e to the 0. u of 1 is 1 plus e to the first. e to the 0. 1 plus 1 is therefore the definite integral starting from a lower bound of 2. u to the, when I plug in the upper bound of 1 into my u function, 1 plus e to the first is simply just 1 plus e. e to the first is just e. So 1 plus e is that simple five expression. So I'm left with the anti I'm left with the definite integral from 2 to 1 plus e of du over u, which let's just write as 1 over u du. Is the antiderivative of 1 over u du? We've used that before. So 
we're going to substitute in 2, 1 plus e. Natural log of 1 plus e minus the natural log of 2. This would be a perfectly acceptable answer. You could also condense it. But I have the difference of two logarithms. I could condense it as what? Would I multiply these two together or divide these two? Uh, yeah, when you divide powers, don't you subtract the exponents? So as a logarithm, when you subtract logs, you divide the two expressions similarly. So the natural log of quantity 1 plus e over 2. How are we feeling, guys? Good. Good? Got a thumbs up here. Hopefully we're doing fine. Let me try another def definite integral for you guys to uh, practice on your own. Let me get you another, another integral here. Let's give you guys one to practice on your own here. I'm going to do another base A1. What is the antiderivative or indefinite integral of 4 to the 2x dx? Yeah, sure. Yeah, just multiply those two constants together. One half is a constant, one over ln4 is a constant, so together it's one over two ln4. You guys are getting started online or here in person. What base are you in? Base A is what value? Or U would be. Here's A, here's U, so DU would be half DX, and by half I mean 2 DX, I'm getting ahead of myself, because when you solve for DX, it's half DU equals DX. Just a minute to finish up from there. So 
I'm going to bring down one half times the antiderivative of four to the two x is replaced by a to the u. Dx is replaced by the one half and du. So one half times one over ln of a. So that's one over a to the one four times a to the u plus c. I was kind of checking everybody on uh, here in person before I did the work up on the board for you guys. It should be 1 over 2 ln 4 times 4 to the 2x plus c. What are your thoughts there? As you guys are practicing antiderivatives and base. All good. All good. Okay. I'll pause the recording and let's uh, let's get some practice going. <laughs> 